how did you, did you back into this opportunity or did you wake up one morning and say, Hey, I think I want to go help senior citizens. How did this come about? Great question. Uh, I guess I didn't really like being a contractor. I realized my personality. Uh, I didn't like the time frame of taking from finding the ground, going through the municipalities, building out, getting to your check, you know, sometimes took 18 months, 24 months where with uh, flipping or wholesaling, you know, you can do a deal every, you know, you, you meet with the family for a few hours and then three weeks later you get your check. So I think I became a, a, what you might call a deal junkie. Uh, I, I like deals. I like the next deal. I like to help families and move to the next deal. My personality did not lead itself to wanting to be a, a developer, which has much longer timelines to cash. Um, you would ask the question, how did I, how did I get there? We always had have had this mandate since 2011 that for every deal that we find via direct response marketing, which is what all of us do, right? Your your paper clicks, your direct mail, your Facebook, all those things that we all do. For every deal we do with that, can we do another deal via networking? And I feel like uh, you know, Jay, you, you talked about we met each other uh, via masterminds, and we've started to see a shift in in the conversation. It's you can only do so much. Uh, before that return on investment gets lower with the, with the direct mail and these other types of response, you know, response marketing. And so we started to see a shift back to relationships. We've heard many times your net uh, worth is your network, right? Uh, I've been a big believer in that. So back in 2011, um, I started really looking at what are the attributes of the best sellers for us as real estate investors? You know, there's a there's a psyche behind a seller. I, I always say this, Jay, if you're going to do a direct mail list right now, does this sound familiar to your listeners? Uh, let's go over the age of 65, have lived in the house over 20 years and have 100% equity. No. <laughs> right? Well, so many people mail to that list. Why do they mail to that list? It's because they're in the, they hope that they're ready to sell their house, right? They think that they're going to be ready to sell their house. And so with the senior living, what I've noticed is that they've kind of raised their hand and said, hey, it's time for me to sell my house. So in sales, you don't want to be too early in your marketing and you definitely don't want to be too late, but you're trying to find that flashpoint. You know, I look at sales as a conversation, right? In that flashpoint, that exact moment, they know they realize they need to sell the house. And Jay, if you and I were brothers and we find out today that mom needs to move into senior living, that's that flashpoint where we realize we're going to, going to need to sell the house to pay for mom's care. 